you know, how can people get a hold of these energy weapons? You know, the government has all the energy weapons. Nobody has energy weapons. Well, guess what? If you have a 1,200-watt microwave oven in your home and you peel the side of the oven open, which I had a case where these people did that. They were got in a conflict with their neighbors. And what they did is they peeled the microwave open on the side, and then they went, and this is a diagram that you can see on the Internet, and they faced this weapon through the walls. And microwaves go right through the walls like they weren't there. So they radiated the next apartment and the next two apartments down. Each apartment, the people were getting sicker and sicker. And after I did this story, I talked about it on Coast to Coast, I had these people call me up and say, well, can you send me the plans? <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. you know, and it fries you what it does. And, and, uh, first of all, my, let me just say something to my, about microwave. Isn't it a little odd they say, don't even operate the microwave, or, or don't even stand near close to the microwave when it's operating because it's unhealthy? Well, viewers out there, to let you guys know how microwave radiation works in comparison to Apple's new AirPods Pro. I'm right next to the microwave, and look at it. 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared. All right, there you go. Right there, 450 <laughs> milliwatts per meter squared, almost 500, and that's a centimeter away. I'm gonna put it really close, and it's broke the meter. <laughs> So if you look on the WHO's website, the World Health Organization in public exposure limits, maximum public safety exposure, it has microwaves to go up to 0.5 watts, which is 500 milliwatts. So the highest amount of radiation this fella can leak is 500 milliwatts. And AirPods Pro is designed to go between your ears. It's going similar levels to a friggin' microwave on full blast. So you have to be like this. This is like, this is life with an AirPods Pro. Well, here you got this uh, klystron tube that's in it, and what it does is it puts 2.4 gigahertz into the food, and it vibrates the molecules at this frequency. And so once the food comes out, it's secondary emission. The heat coming off the food is 2.4 gigahertz. And then you take this food and you throw it down your throat into your digestive tract. Number two cause of death in America, first is heart attack. What's the second one? Digestive tract cancer. 1980, when I did the research, and there's a doctor called Dr. Herzl that did the original research on it. Uh, the, uh, it was out of Sweden, because that's where the original microwaves came from. And he did the research, and he found it, it, was, it was terrible for rats. I mean, it was horrible for everything. The original microwave company was thinking he'd come up with a great report. He says, look at this. It's killing my rats. And they said, oh, well, thank you for the report. That's all we need. We'll take the report now. But he ended up releasing the report, and they put him in prison. The report's still around. And so what happens is microwave vibrates molecules in a whole different way than human beings have been eating food for the billions of years we've heated over a fire. It's a whole different dynamic. And when I read all the information myself back in 1980, I lifted my microwave up and threw it in the dumpster. And uh, I had to, and now I have to go to these uh, places like Denny's if I'm on the road. I said, well, do you microwave the food? And they'll say, oh, yeah. Well, I said, well, I don't want my food microwaved. You don't? Ask if you go to a restaurant whether they're microwaving your food and don't eat it. It's radiation, basically radiation. 